I have to say congratulations on a great performance. Um, well, <laughs> thank you. I mean, what was your first reaction when you read the script? Well, the ending surprised me, and I realized uh, <coughs> the character's the only person who knows the truth in the world. And I can't give it away to the audience right. early. So I'm playing two roles at the same time throughout the movie, which is tricky. I mean, more tricky than you know or can imagine, because I'm playing it. I don't want the audience to know what I know early in the movie, but I do let it out a little bit here and there as the picture goes on, but not enough for them to understand it until they understand it at the end, that I actually know something that no one else in the world knows. So that's an interesting character for me. Is that what captured your interest, the character? Well, Adam, working with Adam, working with Chris, working right. with the other actors, I mean, uh, I, uh, it, it was a chance to have fun. I can't say it any other way. I love complication. I love, I mean, I've turned Scorsese down because I said, you know, I could do that. I, I don't want to spend that much time. And I've done, you know, other things that are less good instead of that, but uh, when I say I turned, there was no role, there was no arc, there was no, you know, it's like playing, spending a lot of time on something that's, I recommended actors to him, actually, you know, Sharon Stone did Casino, and I had just finished working with her, and he asked me about her, and I loved her. Uh, I did two pictures in a row. And my point is, I didn't hesitate when I read this script. I said, Adam has a challenge, I have a challenge, and Chris has a challenge. Uh, it's a, the balance of this movie is so important. What kind of uh, reception is, do you think this film is gonna get? I don't know. Any I never know. I have worked on great scripts that have been not such good movies. And I've worked on movies that I cringed when I first read them and said, let's, how do we make this better? That turned out great. Right. So I hope it's a movie, I hope it resonates in the way that I want it to. One of the journalists in Toronto said, when he saw it with a lot of press people. When the picture ended, no one left the theater. They all sat there quietly for like five minutes. There wasn't a sound in the theater. And they were all affected by the last line that I say. That you say in the film, which right. Which lets you know that the surprise that shock. occurs is a shock. And I hope that would happen. Well, I don't know if it still will when we have more civilian audiences. I don't know. But that's what's exciting about what I do, because it's putting together a bunch of stuff that makes a live performance out of it. It's, it's a thing that we shouldn't forget, you know. I mean, and, and the thing about being an actor, I mean, I know you've got to go. but. <laughs> Adolf Zucker, when he was 100 years old, Paramount gave him a party. And he got up, he's 100 years old, he said, if I knew I was gonna live this long, I would've taken better care of myself, which is a great line. And I said, Here's, I'm gonna do an, my next movie with John Abelson, who directed the first Rocky and the f first three Karate Kid pictures. He hasn't directed in a while, and it's a good script. And it's got all kinds of stuff in it and I'm playing a concentration camp survivor. So I've grown into that space now. Yeah. I'm old enough to do it. Looking forward to that one. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Martin, for chatting You're with so us. You're so lovely. I'm wishing you all the best. Thank you so much.